Clay Clark is here somewhere. Where's my buddy Clay? Clay's the greatest. I met his goats today. I met his dogs. I met his chickens. I saw his compound. He's like the greatest guy. I in ran it. from his goats, his chickens, his dogs. <laughs> So this guy's like the greatest marketer you've ever seen, right? His entire life, Clay Clark, his entire life is, is, is marketing. 4,000% from February to February. Now, I can better that, okay, Clay? I don't think you know this. I don't think you know this. I, I'm pinching myself, and if I cry, forgive me. In the last two and a half days, we have bettered our entire month of February in the last two and a half days. So, and the phone's blowing up. Everything's just blowing up. Blowing. You're right, it is like a rocket ship. So we're pinching ourselves, actually. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Uh, Devin, uh, we oftentimes at ThriveTimeShow.com, we interact with some really great people. In fact, if anybody goes to ThriveTimeShow.com and they schedule that first free 13-point assessment with me, you're sort of like the filter. I mean, you talk to, you know, people every day. Yep. And certain people are not a good fit. We call these people happy hopers. And certain people are a good fit. We call these people diligent doers. What's the difference? A diligent doer has an actual product or service that makes sense. They have a prototype or an actual product or service. They have an actual uh, viable plan where they can sell a real product or service to real people. And a happy hoper is somebody that doesn't have a real product or service. And uh, a while back, uh, these, these wonderful people, they reached out to us and we scheduled a 13 point assessment. And I knew that they would be successful uh, for two reasons. One, they are diligent doers. And the second is they had an actual product that they could sell to real people on the real planet earth. And they gave a sample to my wife. They gave a sample of their product to my wife. And my wife, uh, Devin, who doesn't coach clients, doesn't mentor clients, doesn't, you know, she stays out of that. She works on the accounting side. She tells me this stuff is incredible. This is incredible stuff. And so at that point, I recognized, uh oh, we're going to have a business that's going to blow up. And so I wanted to get them on the show while the business is actually taken off. Like they're actually currently joining us from a figurative rocket ship. Their business is taken off <laughs> next level. I'm excited to have them on. This is the founders of Giveaderm. Ladies, welcome on to the Thrive Time Show. How are you? <laughs> it's Sorry, such God. an honor. Thank you so much for having us on. We're having so much fun right now. It's we unbelievable. We pinching ourselves. So first We're off, for people out there that don't know who you you two are, I'm going to let you two introduce yourselves and introduce your product so people can Google you and verify you're not a hologram. <laughs> Absolutely. So we are a toxin-free skincare company, and um, we we're really trying to bring the words luxury and zero toxicity together. And it's just it's just been a wild ride. Honestly, my mom had a crazy health scare. Hi, I'm Deborah. And, and sorry, I'm Julianne. I'm the co-founder. And um, I'm her daughter. And so um, yeah. it's just, you know what? It's just been a, a wild ride. And honestly, we were pretty, uh, we knew we had something. We knew we had something that was incredible. And, but then honestly, we were pretty stagnant. We didn't really know what direction to go. And then all of a sudden uh, on one of our super late nights, my, my mom, my mom looked at me and she goes, you know, I, you know, we've heard a lot about clay and I, I think, I think we're supposed to call like maybe get that that assessment and i was like ah! within like five seconds i launched that form over yeah, to you guys it's a holy moment actually because i'm a major introvert and she's like i never thought for a minute you'd do that but i honestly felt like the lord said do this so we did we did and um i think we shared yesterday um not yesterday at the conference last weekend that february in february this february from last February, we were up 4,000% in our business. Can you repeat was, that? How much have you grown as a person? 4,000% <laughs> from February to February. Now, I can better that, okay, Clay? I don't think you know this. I don't think you know this. I, I'm pinching myself, and if I cry, forgive me. In the last two and a half days, we have bettered our entire month of February in the last two and a half days. So, and the phone's blowing up. Everything's just blowing up. Blow, you're right. It is like a rocket ship. So 
we're pinching ourselves to actually. We're well, and ourselves. I I mean this sincerely, and, and and I wanted to get Devin on the show because she talks to so many wonderful people. We that love that. Go to thrivetimeshow.com, and and the, the the challenge we have is that we're sort of like an incubator and I can only yes. work with 160 clients, you know? So it's like a football team and you only have 52 roster spots. Uh, we only have 160. And the reason why is, you know, Devin, with your clients, you meet with your clients once a week. Yep. But a client, you might talk to them three times during the week. Right. Because we're doing the photography, the videography, the web, the search engine, coaching them, guiding them, mentoring them. And I really wanted to drill down into the successes that your business has experienced as a result of you two diligent doers putting in the work there. So uh, first is you guys are doing the dream 100. Now the dream 100 is a system that I don't know why. I don't know why. And Deborah, I'm going to ask you the question. So I, and I don't know why, and I'm not attacking you. This is not a passive aggressive attack. I don't know why people are reluctant to do it. I don't know. Um, so you know, in my life, anytime I want to get the, for example, Tim Tebow to speak at our upcoming business conference, I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to call. And then if I get rejected, which I often do, I will then email. And if I get rejected via email, I will then text. And if I get rejected and Devin, you have worked here for about a year ish, almost two, two years. And on the agenda, did I not put on the agenda book Tim Tebow for a June conference? Did I, did I not put it on there for like, it seemed like maybe six consecutive months. Yes, you did have it on there. And I've been chasing that reality, turning that into have Tim Tebow speak at our events for 10 consecutive years so from the age of 33 to the age of 43 i've had the same action item on my to-do list and the reason why is because my literary agent esther federkevich she represents tim tebow and myself and a lot of people in our orbits kept saying tim should speak at your conferences and so it but, it, but you we've it's you have to reach out to people you don't know because this just in people don't wake up with a burning desire to pay you and the product as good as it is it's not going to sell itself so even though my wife is saying Give a derm is hot sauce. It is the best skincare product I've ever seen. Everybody should buy this. That doesn't mean people are going to buy it unless they know about you. So I want to ask you that specifically, Deborah. The Dream 100, making a list of 100 people that you do not know and reaching out to them to offer them free samples. What was the challenging part about doing that? Um, we had to identify our audience first because you have to, your dream 100 can go everywhere, but you have to specifically identify your audience. And then it, it is work because you're kind of intimidated and you're like, is this real? Is this, is this, is this really going to work? And so you just have to press into that and keep pressing into that. And you just do what you're told to do. I know that sounds basic, but that's why we have hired you. To tell us what to do. And and so that's, we had, we just had to keep at it and keep at it. Now, Devin, you work with very reasonable clients. None of our clients are unreasonable. Of course not. <laughs> um, what is the hard part that people have when you tell them to do the Dream 100? Because these two are doing it. This is something that uh, Juliana and, and Deborah they're doing it. What is the, what is the issue? As I'm trying to help somebody out there that's stuck. Uh, dealing with rejection. There it is. Now, 100%. I used to stutter as a kid. <laughs> I used to stutter as a kid. So let me just walk you through how that works. If you can't speak well and you get mocked at a young age, at a certain point, you just quit caring what people think. So, um, you know, that's at a certain point, you just quit caring what people think. So, you know, do, do you see this, Devin, in our office? We have a lot of employees. Mm -hmm. There's gossip, there's rumors, there's jackassery, whatever. You know, yesterday I was dealing with a situation, so I just call the person involved, ask them directly, call both people, wrap it up. I don't know if that upsets people. I don't know, but I don't think about it. I just want to solve the problem, and I think we've solved the problem. You know, yep. it could be you, but if you're avoiding conflict or rejection, you're just not going to have success. So pro tip number one is you could uh, stutter a lot and then get to a point where you no longer care. That's option number one. Uh, option number two is you just become numb. You just get to a point where you say, Matthew 5, 10 through 11, blessed are ye who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for ye shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. So you just say, I'm not, I'm, I don't worry about what people think. Or you just run around like you're dumb. I don't know if you go dumb or numb. Uh, <laughs> Juliana, I want to ask you, what's your approach? Do you try to go dumb? Do you try to go numb? Do you try to pray your way through it? How do you push? All of the above. All of it. And I say all of the above. I, I it just depends upon how it hits me. Um, dumb, numb, and pray through it. It, 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 all of those are true. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, just so we're clear about what I mean by this, this is some strategic stuff here. Being dumb 
It is a move that I am I use often. So you know, 100%. yesterday I was, and I'll be very vague. Yesterday I was looking at it, uh, um, buying a potential property for a thing I'm working on, and you know, I just I just began breaking all the boundaries. I I don't mind knocking on a door and talking to somebody. I don't mind calling a property that's not for sale and asking, will you sell it? I don't mind talking to the neighbor and saying, what do you know about this property? I, I don't I don't mind, and I just sort of go in like I'm dumb, you know, like hey everybody. Is this property for sale? I mean, that's just sort of the mindset. And certain people go, I can't believe you just did that, but okay, that works. Uh, or you can get numb, but you got to do it. Okay, so you made the dream 100 of these influencers, people that have access to the uh, your ideal and likely buyers. You've given them samples. Yeah. That's working. Second is you have to optimize the pricing. Now, the pricing is a thing, Devin, and I'm sure you've never dealt with this. Your clients haven't either. I'm sure the Given Nerm folks haven't either. But I find a lot of people are afraid to charge what something's worth. Yeah. So let me start with the an example of of that doesn't relate to anybody I've ever met before, um, and this would be the the, the the entrepreneur that has a great product but but is afraid to charge what they should charge because they 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 don't want to offend, they don't want to overcharge, they don't want to take advantage of. And so they actually create an unprofitable business. So the more they sell, the more they create a daily hell. What am I saying? The more they sell, the more they create this perpetual hell because they actually are selling something at a, at a loss or they're barely breaking even. I talked to just the other day, I was talking to a home remodeler who was telling me that the busier he gets, the more money he loses. He was at our conference. And I go, how, how does that work? And he's like, well, I don't want to gouge people. And I said, so what? And so this guy, he, he's not a client, but he came to our conference and he was telling me that his business, he listens to our show and he's been implementing the things he can without being a client. And he said, but the problem is the more business I get, the more I lose money. And I go, how is that possible? And he was, mm -hmm. he's actually charging people what it costs him to provide the service or he's doing it at a, at a loss. And I, I, I just, I, I couldn't understand it. I want to ask you to now going back to Deborah here on the pricing thing. Um, has that been something that we've worked through together or oh, maybe what's 100%. your, how, 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 how have we kind of coached you or worked with you on the pricing? Yeah. Well, Andrew, our coach has worked with us because I am, I am one of those people that as a consumer, I watch the budget. And so at the same time, our products have incredible ingredients and they are all natural. So we have to cover our expenses and so you guys have worked with us to watch our margins, to, to be able to know what our margins are and know what we have to price or we're not going to be able to make this company available. It, we won't make it. And so you guys have been incredible, uh, an incredible asset helping us do that. I want to ask your thoughts here, Juliana. Uh, talk to me about that, the pricing thing. What, what Have we helped you through the pricing or what would be your comments on that? A hundred percent. Actually, it's. It is interesting because when you set your prices where they need to be, that it actually attracts the customers that you want. And and although it's been hard to consider pricing and hard to consider what we what we need to make, what like as far as just covering the costs and then what we need to make on top of that to just continue to be sustainable, you know, it it is incredible because it's been um it, I feel like like I said, it's just it's just, it's attracting your ideal and likely buyer. So it's beautiful. How has coaching, I will get into more details, but how is coaching Juliana, how has that impacted your business? If you had to describe it to somebody, you're sitting next to someone at a conference and they're like, okay, so you've worked with, you know, Blake Clark's coaching system or with, you know, you've worked with Devin or you've worked with Andrew, you've, because you've probably interacted with our whole team at this point. I mean, you've probably talked to Devin on the phone. You've probably been yes, to a conference. Have. You've probably interacted with Andrew every week on the phone. You've, so you've probably interacted with our whole team at this point. And someone says to you, how has it impacted your life? What would you say? Um, I would say it's the equivalent. I've never seen the show, but you know, I've heard of the show Naked and Afraid where you're dumped in the middle of God only knows where. And it's like, you know what? I have this great idea. I want to be dumped in the middle of God only knows where and I have a product that will help people, but I don't know how to actually make a way. And it's literally like hiring a guide that is experienced, that knows what they're doing and that can really um, just absolutely, even when we literally, there have been times that I'm like, I don't even know where we are. I feel like I'm totally blind, even, even in the initial coaching process. And it was like, okay, but great news. We've got our coach call tomorrow. It's going to yeah. be great. And yeah. so it's, it's just this incredible um, feeling of knowing that somebody has our back and knowing that they, they know what to do. 
And then also knowing that, and honestly, I, I would be a little bit disappointed if I hired a business coach <laughs> that wasn't uh, a multimillionaire. And so, you know, I'm just super grateful that you're successful. And so we wanted to go, you know what? He must know if he, he uh, must know yeah. if you things are, you know, if you think are that's right. So, yeah. That's so, yeah. I, you know, what's interesting about what we do is, you know, last night, um, I'll be very vague because I don't know when the show's coming out. I don't want to date the show that way. But, you know, last night, my wife and I were talking about some things. And uh, she said to me, she goes, I'm so glad that I'm aware of how to achieve success because when our daughter asks, it's great to be able to tell her the answers. You know, and, and it, we, she was just, you know, she was kind of reflecting because our daughter's, you know, 20 years old and she's asking questions about buying her first property. And my wife is like, well, you want to, you know, buy low, obviously. Yeah, buy low, but you want to think about that. And if you, my, my, my wife started talking to her about generating revenue streams. Like you want to have a property where you could maybe rent out an extra room to someone you can trust, or maybe you could rent it out in the future, or maybe you buy it low, you add value to it. And my wife was really getting into like a home flipping seminar. Wow, and, and, awesome. and, but it was a thing where we've just done it so much that we forgot that that is a question that a 19 year old has or a 20 year old has that people have never bought a house before we didn't. And my wife was putting on this like home flipping seminar of what makes a home more valuable, you know, the moves you can do that are inexpensive, but add a lot of life to the property. And again, if you've never flipped a house before, it can be overwhelming. But in our mm -hmm. case, we've done it so much. The other day, someone was asking us, I think my wife and I have lived in 15 separate houses. It could be 16 because we just uh -huh. were buying, renovating, moving, but, and we're just doing it. And so it's kind of become normal. Growing a business is kind of normal. So if you're out there watching today and you feel overwhelmed, you feel stuck, these are two great yes. examples of people that are real people we've actually worked with. We are working with. They are currently in the figurative rocket ship. The figurative, the figurative rocket ship there blasting off sales are happening nonstop. I appreciate them taking some time to talk to us about this. The next is we got to track. We have to track. And people always tell me I'm so busy. I don't have time to track. Now, Devin, your clients have never told you that. No, but can you walk <laughs> me through why other people who don't listen to our show and are not your clients, why people might not track. They're scared to look at the numbers. Mm. There's a thing there. The other thing I would say is people like to always delegate to their spouse what to their partner. So the alpha, if it's a female owned business and, and, the, and the woman is the, is the founder, she will usually delegate the finances to the, to the person that, that joined. Like, so the founder usually likes to delegate the finances to somebody else. That's usually what happens. Or if it's a, a male, he'll delegate it to, you know, his wife, or if it's the wife who started it, she'll delegate it to her husband. Or if it's a sister, she'll delegate it to her brother. It seems like in the family owned business, the founder always delegates the tracking to somebody else. I just see that as a pattern. Um, and it seems like if they're not related, it just seems like they'll delegate it to whoever they just hired. So imagine you go to work for someone, you're 25 years old, you just got hired by a 40 year old and they go, Hey, by the way, you're in charge of tracking. And I, I see that. And then the person who's in charge of tracking, you know, they may be not, they, they might not be diligent. They might be, they might be disorganized. They might be organized. I don't know. But what happens is then they, they, they sort of now have removed themselves from direct responsibility. I wanted to ask you, uh, Deborah, on the tracking, how do you two track? Cause it, it is really depressing when you're tracking hundred percent of zero sales this week. I mean, that, that could be depressing uh, and it could seem like a waste of time, but now as you're actually selling, it becomes increasingly important. So start with you there, Deborah, the tracking thing. How do you guys handle that? Um, well, we have our tracking sheet that Andrew helped us put together and it, you're right. It's absolutely mandatory. And because we have a product that has to be manufactured, uh, you have to know how much every item costs down to the packing tape, the fragile stickers and all this kind of stuff. So it's imperative that you know what's happening. And that's what, uh, I, and like I said, Andrew's helped. We do that together. We kind of stay in it. I, I tend to lean into the manufacturing part of it where I, I needed to know exactly how much that shipper cost, exactly how much, you know, that void fill cost, exactly how much the decoration on our, our bottles, all that has to have, you have to know it. Otherwise you'll wake up one day and, and you're consumed, you're done. So Juliana, you, just have you to know it. You have any thoughts on that? Because again, you two are working as a business owner. You're doing the marketing, the sales, the hiring, the firing. They're shipping things. You're. How do you? How would you describe your your tracking process? Um, you know what we when, before we, I mean, we had a, an approximate idea yeah. before we started working with you, but then getting the specifics has been incredible. And it's not hard. It's just anything that goes out, you track, and then anything that comes in, you track, and it's. But it does take effort. You know, you have to put a little bit of effort into it. 
And so I, I would just say it's invaluable. It's one of those things that um, if you don't understand potentially where there's a leak in the boat, if you, you know, then you, you, you just have to, because you have to do these, it's basically constant to con do's as well. Yeah. Like yeah. constant weekly inspections of the boat, if you will, yeah. you know? Huh? And so it's really good. It is. And it, again, this is so big, constant inspections. I, I think that a lot of people struggle with boredom, uh, but the great the clients I've had, they bore down. So you, you have to do the same <laughs> thing yeah. every day. Devin, have you ever worked at a restaurant? I haven't. You haven't? No. Oh, man. Uh, you probably never will then. But uh, um, have you two ever worked at a restaurant, Julianne? Have you ever worked at a restaurant? No, no. Ever have you? No. Well, let me walk you through. Let me just walk you through my experience at Applebee's. No. I'll walk you through Applebee's. I worked at Applebee's, okay. and our job is every single day you had, when I worked there 20-something you know, years ago, you have to have out the fresh salad. So you open up that walk-in freezer, and a guy from Cisco or whoever delivers the salad, he's going to deliver the fresh salad. And you have to throw away the bad salad every single day. You know, you bring in the fresh meat, you throw out the bad meat every single day. Then you pre you prepare your your um, they call it the house salad prep. So you basically make the house salads and you put them in this room. And so when somebody orders it, they're ready to go. You know, and you just you 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 have to. There's like a process. Every day you clean the bathrooms, every single day you wipe off all the tables, every single day you dust every single window, every single day you wipe off the glass, and it's a checklist every day. And I found that the top waiters, of which I was not one, I had a good attitude, but I wasn't nearly as skilled as other people who had been doing it a long time, they would come in to work right away, and they would wipe down the windows, mop the floor, get everything ready to go, and they were ready to go before the first customer walked in. But I found that the bad ones would always say things like, all we ever do is do the same thing every day. And then my <laughs> boss, Ian, would go, yeah, because it's a restaurant, and all we ever do is serve food to great people. That's what we do. So, you know, But I think certain people get bored with that monotonous stuff, and you guys do a really good job of nailing that. The next is the website creation. Um, we And the website, it's not a, 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 and it's not a one and done. It, it, it is a process of continual improvement. There's endless iterations. We're always updating. I'm never happy with the website. I'm happy today. But if I look at it too long, I go, I kind of want to tweak that. We always want to make a small little enhancement. We always want to add a new testimonial. We always want to add a new endorsement. Um, as I look at it right now, um, just my pro tip, and I'll tell Andrew, but maybe you can tell him that I told you this before you talk to Andrew. Any of the any of the bigger names that are starting to endorse you, you know, we get the as seen on, like endorsed by. So when you click on testimonials, it's like endorsed by, and you start to get more and more big names. So I look at one of my clients called Moms on a Mission. What a great job she does. Um, and as she's booking bigger and bigger guests, we keep adding the as seen on. Now, you don't want it to get in the way of the product, but you got to make sure we get – because you're, you're starting to have some awesome. big-time names that endorse your yeah. product. Um, mm -hmm. Could you share with the listeners what's it been like having a consultant that also does the web development? Because we do the photography, the video, the web, the search engine, all of that – is all one-stop shop. What's that been like there, Deborah? having just a one-stop shop for everything? It, it's, they're, they're really no words because whenever you're trying to start a business, you're so overwhelmed, you, you're watching everything, you know this is new territory for you, so you're having to learn everything the best you can. So to have someone come in that is an expert in this field and can say, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do, and this is what you need to do, it's like done. I mean, the the also the pricing, as I've heard, but thank God we didn't go there. But to have someone develop your website is, is astoundingly outrageous. So to be able to have that incorporated in the coaching has yeah. been such a blessing. It's just been, I, there, there are really few words. W without a website, we, we're sunk. So. Uh, Devin, I want to tell you a story that's going to depress you, okay? <laughs> okay. How old are you right now? How old are you? 23. Okay. So when you were uh, not born yet, <laughs> okay? you're not yet born. Seriously, you were when you were not born yet, um, I started this. Your, your mom and dad are probably on a date. Yeah. You know, I started this company called uh, DJ Connection, right? And I thought, well, I'm going to do is I'm going to work at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. That's a true story. So 1998, 1997, I'm growing this business. 1999, I'm growing it. And uh, I got this website. I needed a website. I needed to have a website. So I went to a web guy. I won't mention the guy's name, although I want to. Well, I know I, I will mention it. I will mention the website because it's not a bad thing. It's just a fact. So I hired a company called Creative State to build my website for me. It's called Creative State. And uh, Brent Wallace was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, this is his company, uh, Creative State Web Developer. There it is. Boom. 
and uh, I uh, paid him to build my website for me. And, uh, you know, it was at that time, uh, I look back at it and I go, wow. But we're talking about um, thousands of dollars mm -hmm. was spent sure. to build said website mm -hmm. and uh, thousands and thousands. And so I was paying um, unbelievable amounts of money. You know, we're talking um, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to build the website. And uh, then every time I wanted to make a change, there were certain costs to it. Now he's gone on to build, you know, website products and promotion for uh, Taylor Swift. He's done stuff for Garth Brooks, and he's really a, a, a kind of a household name boutique in the web space. He's done a great job. But my thought was, if I'm going to build a website, I want to have the guy who built Garth Brooks's website because right. at that time Garth Brooks right. was like the number one yeah. music star in the world. Yeah. Sure. I'm going to hire that guy, mm -hmm. and I'm glad I did. But if I were to tell you that it was $1,700 a month, because we charge our clients $1,700 a month. It's a flat rate, one seven zero zero per month. And that includes the coaching, the mentorship, the conferences, everything, all the introductions, all the PR, all the marketing, the video, the photography, the web, the accounting. But this guy, he, he didn't apologize for the price. You can imagine, because the guy's built the website for Taylor Swift and Garth Brooks. You can imagine. So it's more like, well, you know, $15,000, we'll get a conversation started. And I'm going, yeah. and I just remember him saying to me, I remember people telling me, well, you need to get a video on your website. I thought, I do need to get a video on my website. So all I'll do is I'll get a video on my website. And I go, so do you guys do the video? He goes, no, 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 we don't do video. But oh I have a guy God. I recommend. Right. And the video oh. guy says, true story, mm -hmm. for $8,000, I could make you uh, the promotional video. 8,000, I'm going, 8,000. 8, okay, and then the website's 15, I'm up to 23. I work at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. I'm making like 8.25 an hour plus tips sometimes at Applebee's. You don't get tips at Target. So I'm working, and then I go, okay, and then I need to hire a PR person to help me do my PR, to get in front of the media, to get, you know. And the PR people are like, well, it's a retainer, um, and it'll be, you know, 5,000 a month for one year. So I'm, so I'm out 60 grand for that. I got the website. So then I start thinking, I need to sell something. Because I'm going to need to sell something soon. So my Yellow Page ad was $2,500 a month for my Yellow Page ad on top of the other things. So I remember it was the craziest thing ever because I'm working at Applebee's. Could you imagine, Devin, right now at your age, could you imagine you talk to your mom and dad and your mom and dad says, how are you? And you say, I'm doing great. They said, what have you been up to? You said, I agreed to pay $2,500 a month for the next year on an ad that hasn't been proven to work. And by the way, I'm paying a PR company $4,000 a month. And by the way, BruceClay.com, that's the search engine company that um, is probably the highest rated most. He, he writes the search engine for dummies book. Oh, and you're going to pay about eight thousand dollars a month for a twelve month contract. So you're you know ninety six thousand to teach to have him. Could could you imagine explaining that to your mom or your dad? How would that go over? They would just they would be they think I'm stupid or something. If you guys were building Give a Durham today, and imagine you hopped on your coaching call with Andrew, and Andrew yeah. says, "What you need to do is you need to go out there and pay twenty five hundred dollars a month for your advertising, pay four grand a month for PR." 18,000, 50, actually 15,000 for the website. But every time you, every time you make a change, it's like a thousand dollars. Um, and then you also, I mean, could you, what would happen there, Juliana, if that was the recommendations he was going to give you? Uh, fight. What is it? Fight, fly or freeze or whatever. I don't know. Like I just, I, would, I think I would just be like, bye. Like, good luck with everything. I can't do it. Like, it's just not sustainable. This is what I did. I took a photo with the yellow page guy. <laughs> I said, if I'm going to pay you 2,500 bucks, I a month. I need a photo. So there he is, Jeremy McCaskill. Yeah, awesome. Did a photo that's of amazing. my yellow page guy. And that's the kind of stuff I would do just to kind of capture it. But I always thought to myself, at some point, I'm going to build a – when people started asking me to help them grow their company, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make it – I'm going I'm to provide the entire coaching system for less money than it would cost to hire an hourly employee. And so now, final thing I want to ask you guys is we help you with the systems, creating the systems, the optimization, turnkey, the entire workflow, marketing, sales, branding, PR, accounting, all of it coming together as one unified song. All the different instruments put together. They, they make a beautiful orchestra. It all comes together. Um, I want to ask you this, uh, Deborah, what's that worth to you? I know you pay $1,700 a month. I know that I make a 20% profit on every client. So we make, just to be very clear, $340 a month for a client. What's that been worth to you? Play uh, sincerely everything. I, I don't want to use cliche words, 
but I can't find words that could adequately describe how you have literally changed our lives. It made it affordable. It made it affordable. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not saying that, you know, I was $1,700 a month. And, but then when you saw everything that is included, it's like, oh my gosh, it's only $1,700 a month, but it has changed our life. Our company, I can say hand on heart, our company would not be where it is without you guys. Hand on heart. There's absolutely no way. You've brought us the experience, the connections, the consistency, the, the kick in the pants when we needed it. Oh, we didn't need it hardly at all, Andrew. Um, and so we, we're just... <laughs> There, there's sin sincerely, it's very hard to express um, how amazed we are. And uh, we do feel like God was on this from the beginning. And we just, we thank him for introducing us to you guys. And then you guys have just, we, we've literally hitched our wagon to your horses. <laughs> and true. that's what it's been like. That's what, we true. talk about that a lot and we're, we're pinching ourselves. I mean, how often can someone say in two and a half days, we bettered a month's worth of sales, which was 4,000% higher than the year before. Mm. I mean, and the phone's blowing up. I mean, it's now obviously you're obviously uh, Deborah is paying us Devin to say that. So we'll go to, uh, we'll go to a more reasonable person. Uh, Juliana, what, what, how would you describe it? Because there's somebody out there right now who believes that they don't qualify for success. That's what I hear all the time. And I grew up mm. poor and I'll never forget what it was like to be poor. And so I never want anybody to think they don't qualify. We have scholarship options to make it work for people. But what would you say to somebody who's on the outside of the website right now, listening to this show, and they're like, I don't know if it'll work for me. What would you say? Don't be afraid. And don't be afraid to admit where you are now, because honestly, it was really when we did our assessment with you, Clay, we were like, well, we're doing this much a month and that's embarrassing. And we're doing this much, you know, and and we didn't and, think we would qualify. I mean, we, we did it. And I think to really understand your heart for people and your heart for excellence for people. And um, like mom said, you know, I, I, I think I've told you this before, but um, there's it, it was absolutely uncanny to the point that. Uh, at one point we had a, a, like a connection, an additional connection with you and that morning. And then that afternoon, one of our biggest influencers uh, mentioned us uh, in her, um, in her broadcast. Yeah. And so literally you carry, you carry so much momentum. So I would say to anybody out there that's considering doing this to give it a shot, to just, to just Please go for it. Hesitate. And honestly, just look at your budget and, and take out the things that you just that are unnecessary so that you can afford to do this business coaching because what you're getting is absolutely outrageous and for whatever it's worth i was even able to text andrew multiple times we're like panicked going ah the website's down or the website's blah, blah, blah. And he's like we're on it we're gonna we got it we got it done handled it and it was just like oh my gosh just to mm. feel like we could trust fall with you guys when it That's is not thing. my yeah. none of this is my skill set none right. of it it's all uncomfortable and to know that you have a well-oiled machine that we can go, oh, can we just come, you know, come into that and and just go, yes, I'll take your systems. It's just, it's incredible. It's been absolutely outrageous. And we look back and we laugh, but, you know, right now we're, we are in a rocket ship. Yeah. And we're just going, oh gosh, we're going to have to, it, it's such a beautiful way. It's like, I think we're going to have to hire more people. And I think we're going to actually have to work, like literally have crews work around the clock for fulfillment. Yep. And, you know, then we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And then we, we may have to go there. We may have to get more, you know, more storage units. We, we may have to do whatever. And it's just, yeah. we're, we're to that fun part, but it's also yeah. managing growth. Well, but what I, what I love is that we can still even ask you, Hey, where we are right now, yeah. is it wise to do this or should we stay here? You know? And it's, it's, it's incredible. It's been wonderful. My favorite part. And then I'll let you guys go. I love it when it's overwhelming, you're out of office space and everybody's selling something <laughs> that to me, is the hey. most exciting part <laughs> yes. where people begin to share a desk, they share a chair. It gets socially yes. awkward because your desk, <laughs> you recognize that you're a box of product has become your desk. You recognize that you're taking notes on boxes and that's exciting <laughs> stuff. Uh, that's, that's where you, you can't find your wallet because everything's being shipped in and out. That's an exciting place to be. So I encourage everybody check out the give a derm product today for anybody out there and, and don't not do it because I'm endorsing it. Check it out. Give a derm.com <laughs> go there. Give a derm.com. Check it out there. 
Uh, and then the final question is, how do we accurately pronounce your last name? Because you spell your last name. It's G-R-I-M-N-E-S. So someone's going, Grimnes. Grims? Grimes? That's it. That's Grimnes? Grimnes? You got it the first it, time. If you Woo-hoo! add an S, you will pronounce it correctly. <laughs> yeah. So think of it. My, my dad My dad would say, think of it. It's like, don't say this, dad. He's like, think of it as like the grimness of the situation. I'm like, dad, that's not uh, good. No, don't say that. No, no, no don't. No, it's good. No, no, no. Bah. Like, oh, anyway. <laughs> thank you, team grimness. Have a great day. You guys are doing a great job. <laughs> thank we'll talk you. To you soon. Thank you. Thank, thank you. It's been an honor. We'll talk Take to care. you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Ryan Wimpy. And I'm Rachel Wimpy. And the name of our business is Tip Top Canine. Our business is a dog training business. We help people with behavioral issues and teach their dog how to listen. When I was learning to become a dog trainer, we didn't learn anything about internet marketing or advertising or anything at all. Just just dog training. And that's what's so great about working with Clay and his team because they do it all for us. So that we can focus on our passion and that's training dogs. Uh, Clay and his team here, they're so enthusiastic. Their energy is off the charts. Never a dull moment here at Thrive. We've been working with Clay and his team for the last five months, two of which have been our biggest months ever. One, our biggest gross by 35%. Clay's helped us make anything from brochures to stickers, new business cards, new logos, scripts for phones, script for email, script for text message, scripting for everything. How I would describe the weekly meetings with uh, Clay and his team are awesome. They're so effective. It's worth every minute. Um, things get done. We'll ask for things like different flyers and they're done before our hour is up. So it's just awesome. Extremely effective. If you don't use Clay and his team, you're probably going to be pulling your hair out or you're going to spend half of your time trying to figure out the online marketing game and producing your own flyers and marketing materials, print materials, all the stuff like that. You're really losing a lot as far as lost productivity and lost time. Not having a professional do it, it's has a real sense of urgency and that actually knows what they're doing when you already have something that's your core focus that you already know how to do. You would also be missing out with all the time and financial freedom that you would have uh, working with Clay and his team. We would recommend Clay and his team to other business owners because they need to be working on their business, not just trying to figure out the online game, which is complex and changing daily. So no one has a marketing team too. Most people don't, they can't afford one and their local web guy or a local person that they know probably can't do everything that a whole team and a whole floor of people can do in hours and not just weeks or months. There's a definite sense of urgency with Clay and his team. I used to have to ride other web people, um, really, I mean really ride them to get stuff done and stuff is done so fast here and people, there's a real sense of urgency to get it done. All right, folks, on, on part one of today's show, we focused on how to grow your company, which is great. However, the the key to uh, building a sustainably profitable company is you need to focus on how much you have, how much you get to keep, not just how much you make. How much do you, do you actually get to keep? And one of the biggest expenses that's a line item that every business owner pays for is credit card processing. So on today's show, we're joined with Tyler, the longtime credit card processing service of choice that I've used for many, many years. And he's here to share with you uh, how he can help you save a lot of money. So without any further ado, Tyler, welcome onto the show. How are you, sir? I'm great, Clay. Thanks for having me. Hey, awesome. Well, I want to ask, what is your the website people can go to if they want to verify that you, in fact, are a real person? Yeah, uh, www.integratedpaymentservices.com. Okay, so integrated, integrated paymentservices.com. Okay, so I'm going to pull that's it up. right there. Integratedpaymentservices.com. So for anybody out there that's not familiar with you, what, what exactly do you do and how can you save our listeners money? Yeah, so we we uh, we set businesses up to accept, you know, credit card as a form of payment. Um, and we do that in any way that you can think of accepting a card, whether that's, you know, in person, whether it's through a website, maybe it's integrated into a software, maybe it's... Um, you know, through a virtual terminal where they're taking a lot of payments over the phone, maybe they're sending out invoices with links, really any way that you can think of capturing a payment uh, through credit card or even ACH, uh, we we set businesses up to do that. Whether they are new business and looking to do it, or they're a current business and looking to maybe lower what they're paying now. Now, what I've found is that every time I've sent somebody to you, and I've referred a lot of people to you over the years, uh, everybody that I've sent to you has told me that on average, they're saving just thousands and thousands of dollars per year. So how is it possible um, that you guys are saving the average business owner thousands of dollars? Well, it's because we're not exclusive with any one processor. Um, And the way that uh, 
the way that we do that is just, you know, we we see ourselves as wanting to price our customers as low as possible and have their business for many, many years. For a lot of processors, we'll, you know, maybe price them a certain way and they make their money in a few months. And if the if they lose the customer, they don't care. That's not our that's not our philosophy. And to give you an example, I statement last night I reviewed of a customer. They sent it to me. I'm about to have a call with him in about an hour. We're going to save him about two thousand dollars a month. So again, I mean, you said two thousand dollars a month. Yeah, twenty four thousand dollars a year. Really, and so all that. What, yeah. what do we have to do? To, what does the process look like if somebody wants to compare rates with you? What what what's step one, step two, step three? Uh, yeah. So step one, obviously, we just we have a phone we have a phone conversation. We um, talk about you know their needs as far as how they process the transactions. We you know maybe they're not doing things as efficiently as they could. Do we see if maybe we have a product that could help them? Um, then what we do is we we get them to you know send us one or two of their previous month processing statements. We put together a comparison. If everything looks good. They love the savings and they're ready to move forward. It takes about two days. That whole process and that whole first phone call takes about five to 10 minutes. So, Okay, so again, folks. Pretty simple process. We've created a landing page here, uh, thrivetimeshow.com forward slash credit card. When you fill out the form, they, uh, the form goes directly to uh, Tyler and his team, and they'll take care of you. But again, step one, fill out the form. Step two, they'll give you a call. And again, on average, you know, I'm finding that the clients I've sent your way are telling me they're saving $3,000, $4,000 a year um, off of their credit card processing costs. And again, but there are people that you're saying that some people you're able to save thousands of dollars per month. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just depends on the customer and how they're priced. It's, you know, it's. It's um it's funny, not funny, but um you know, a lot of people don't look at their statements close enough. And a lot of these processors start adding in fees and adding in different services that they didn't even know that they were paying for that we can go in and just, you know, eliminate. What is the the biggest question that people ask you when they fill out the form? My final question for you is, you know, when people reach out to you, because you talk to people every single day that are looking to reduce the amount of money they're spending on credit card fees. What's the question that everybody asks you that that I'm not asking you today? Well, I mean, the first question they asked, you already asked is, you know, how do we, how are we able to save them money? Um, second question is usually, why should we use you? <laughs> and, you know, my answer to that is because we do what we say we're going to do. Um, I mean, I know we've done business with you for years, but whenever there's an issue, our company, we answer our phones. Whenever you have a problem, we answer our phones. We don't have any contracts and what we say we're going to do, we do. We don't ever raise your rates. Um, how we price you from the beginning is how you'll be priced for the entire time that you do business with IPS. Well, I can just tell you, folks, I've had an opportunity to work with you for years and years, and I'm very um, happy with the results that you guys provide. And again, we've put a landing page together because people ask me all the time, Clay, who do you recommend for credit card processing? So check it out, folks. That's thrivetimeshow.com forward slash credit dash card. I would argue that this conversation could save you an average of over $3,000 a year. But again, some people are saving thousands of dollars a month. Tyler, thank you for your time, sir. And we'll talk to you next week. That sounds great, Clay. Have a great week. Take care, brother. Bye. JT, do you know what time it is? Um, 4.10. It's, <laughs> it's Tebow time in Tulsa, oh. Jerusalem, baby. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma, June 27th and 28th. We've been doing business conferences here uh, since 2005. I've been hosting business conferences since, since 2005. What year were you born? Uh, 1995. Dude, I've been hosting business conferences since you were 10 years old, but I've never had to the two-time Heisman Award winning Tim Tebow come present. And a lot of people, you know, have followed Tim Tebow's football career on the field uh, and off the field. And off the field, the guy's been just as successful as he has been on the field. Now, the big question is, JT, how does he do it? Hmm. Well, they're going to have to come and find out because I don't know. Well, I'm just no. saying, Tim Tebow is going to teach us how he organizes his day, how he organizes his life, how he's proactive with his faith, his family, his finances. He's going to walk us through his mindset that he brings into the gym, into business. It is going to be a blasty blast in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Also, this is the first uh, Thrive Time Show event that we've had where we're going to have a man who has built a $100 million net worth. Wow. He'll be presenting. Now, we've had a couple presenters that um, have 
have had a billion dollar net worth mm. um, in some like real estate sort of things. Yeah. But this is the first time we've had a guy who's built a service business and he's built over a hundred million dollar net worth in the service business. It's the yacht driving, uh, multi-state living guru of franchising. Peter Taunton will be in the house. This is the founder of Snap Fitness, the guy behind Nine Round Boxing. He's going to be here in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma, June 27th and 28th. JT, why should everybody want to hear what Peter Totten has to say? Oh, because he's incredible. He's just a fountain of knowledge. He is awesome. He has uh, inspired me listening to him talk. And not only that, he also has, uh, he practices what he teaches. So he's a real teacher. He's not a fake teacher like business school teachers. So you got to come learn from him. Also, let me tell you this, folks. I don't want to get this wrong because if I get it wrong, um, someone's going to say, you screwed that up, buddy. So Michael <laughs> Levine, this is Michael Levine. He's going to be coming. You say, Who, who's Michael Levine? I don't want to get this wrong. This is the PR consultant of choice for Michael Jackson, wow. for Prince, wow. for Nike, for mm. Charlton Heston, for Nancy mm. Kerrigan, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestselling authors he's represented, including pretty much everybody you know who's been a super celebrity. This is Michael Levine, a good friend of mine. He's going to come and talk to you about personal branding and the mindset needed to be super successful. The lineup will continue to grow. We have hit Christian recording artist Colton Dixon in the house. Now, people say, Colton Dixon's in the house? Yes, Colton Dixon's in the house. So if you like top 40 Christian music, Colton Dixon's going to be in the house performing. The lineup will continue to grow each and every day. We're going to add more and more speakers to this all-star lineup. But I encourage everybody out there today get those tickets today go to thrivetimeshow.com again that's thrivetimeshow.com and some people might be saying well how do i do it what do i do how, how does it work you just go to thrivetimeshow.com let's go there now we're feeling the flow we're going to thrivetimeshow.com again you just go to thrivetimeshow.com you click on the business conferences button and you click on the request tickets button right there um the way i do our conferences is we tell people it's 250 dollars to get a ticket yep or whatever price that you could afford and the reason why I do that is I grew up without money. Uh, JT, you're in the process of building a super successful company. Um, yep. Did you start out with a million dollars in the bank account? No, I did not. Nope, did not get any loans, nothing like that. Did not get an inheritance from parents or anything like that. I had to work for it, and I, uh, I'm super grateful I came to a business conference. That's actually how I met you, met Peter Totten. I met all these people. So if you're out there today and you want to come to our workshop, again, you just got to go to thrivetimeshow.com. You might say, well, when's it going to be? June 27th and 28th. You might say, well, who's speaking? We already covered that. You might say, where's it going to be? It's going to be in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma. So it says Tulsa, Jerusalem. Uh, it's... I'm really trying to rebrand Tulsa as Tulsa Jerusalem, sort of like the Jerusalem of America. But if you go to, if you type in Thrive Time Show and Jinx, you can get a sneak peek or a look at our office facility. This is what it looks like. This is where you're headed. It's going to be a blasty blast. You can look inside, see the facility. We're going to have hundreds of entrepreneurs here. It is going to be packed. Now, for this particular event, folks, uh, the seating is always limited because my facility isn't a limitless um convention center you're coming to my actual home office and so it's going to be packed so when june 27th to 28th who you you're going to come who you I'm, I'm talking to you you can just get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com and again you can name your price we tell people it's 250 dollars or whatever price you can afford and we do have some select vip tickets which gives you an access to meet some of the speakers and those sorts of things and those tickets are 500 dollars. it's a two-day interactive business workshop over 20 hours of business training we're going to give you a copy of my newest book the millionaire's guide to becoming sustainably rich you're going to leave with a workbook you're going to leave with everything you need to know to start and grow a super successful company it's practical it's actionable and it's tebow time right here in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Get those tickets today at thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. Hello, I'm Michael Levine, and I'm talking to you right now from the center of Hollywood, California, where I have represented over the last 35 years 58 Academy Award winners, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestsellers. I've represented a lot of major stars, and I've worked with a lot of major companies and I think I've learned a few things about what makes them work and what makes them not work. Now, why would a man living in Hollywood, California in the beautiful sunny weather of LA come to Tulsa? Because last year I did it and it was damn exciting. Clay Clark has put together an exceptional uh, presentation, really life-changing and I'm looking forward to seeing you then. I'm Michael Levine. I'll see you in Tulsa.
James, did I tell you my good friend John Lee Dumas is also joining us at the in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show Business Workshop? That Tim Tebow and that uh, Michael Levine will be at. Have I told you this? You have not told me that. Oh, he's coming all the way from Puerto Rico. This is John Lee Dumas, the host of the Chart Topping EOFire.com podcast. He's absolutely a living legend. This guy started a podcast after uh, uh, wrapping up his service in the United States military. And he started recording this podcast daily in his home to the point where he started interviewing big time folks like Gary Vaynerchuk, like Tony Robbins. And he just kept interviewing bigger and bigger names, putting out shows day after day. And now he is the legendary host of the EO Fire podcast. And he's traveling all the way from Puerto Rico to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to attend the in-person June 27th and 28th Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshop if you're out there today folks you've ever wanted to grow a podcast a broadcast you want to get an, you want to improve your marketing if you've ever wanted to improve your marketing your branding if you've ever wanted to increase your sales you want to come to the two-day interactive june 27th and 28th drive time show business workshop featuring tim tebow michael levine john lee dumas and countless big time super successful entrepreneurs it's going to be life-changing get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com james what website is that thrivetimeshow.com james one more time before enthusiasm thrivetimeshow.com Everything rides on tonight Even if I got three strikes I'ma go for it This moment We own it eh? I'm not to be played with Because it could get dangerous See these people I ride with This moment We own it Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever. And we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. Now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're closed, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, the definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And it's a Mr. Clay Clark. He's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing. But I thought, uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who's my yeah. age, and I can say or cannot say? What, well, I have to, first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. But not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. But anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, Changed My Life, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy, King, King's Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa! Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy. I'm originally from Tulsa, born and raised here. I went to a small private liberal arts college and got a degree in business. And I didn't learn anything like they're teaching here. I didn't learn linear workflows. I learned stuff that I'm not using and I haven't been using for the last nine years. So what they're teaching here is actually way better than what I got at business school. And I went what was actually ranked as a very good business school. The linear workflow, the linear workflow for us and getting everything out on paper and documented is really important. Um, like we have workflows that are kind of all over the place to so the Having linear workflow and seeing that mapped out on multiple different boards uh, is pretty awesome. That's really helpful for me. The atmosphere here is awesome. I definitely just stared at the walls figuring out how to make my facility look like this place. This place rocks. It's invigorating. The walls are super, um, it's just very cool. The atmosphere is cool. The people are nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool place to be. Very good learning atmosphere. I literally want to model it and steal everything that's here at this facility and uh, basically create it just on our business side. Once I saw what they were doing, I knew I had to get here at the conference. This is probably the best conference or seminar I've ever been to in over 30 years in business. You're not bored. You're awake, alive the whole time. It's not pushy. They don't try to sell you a bunch of things. I was looking to learn how to just get control of my life, my schedule, and just get in control of the business. Planning your time, breaking it all down, making time for the, you know, the F6 in your life, and just really implementing it and sticking with the program. It's really lively. He's, they're pretty friendly, uh, helpful, and very welcoming. I attended a conference a couple months back, and it was really the best business conference I've ever attended. At the workshop, I learned a lot about time management, um, really prioritizing what's the most important. Biggest takeaways are, you know, you want to take a step-by-step -step approach to your business. So whether it's marketing, you know, what are those three marketing tools that you want to use to human resources. Now, some of the most successful people and successful businesses in this town, their owners were here today because they wanted to know more from Clay, and I found that to be kind of fascinating. The most valuable thing that I've learned is diligence. That businesses don't change overnight. It takes time and effort and you gotta go through the ups and downs of 
getting it to where you want to go. He actually gives you the road map out. I was stuck, didn't know what to do, and he gave me the road map out step by step. We've set up systems in the business that make my life much easier, allow me some time freedom. Here you can ask any question you want, they guarantee it'll be answered. See, this conference like motivates me and also gives me a lot of knowledge and tools. It's up to you to do this. Um, everybody can do these things, they're, they're stuff that everybody knows, but if you don't do it, nobody else can do it for you. I can see the marketing working. And it, it's just an approach that makes sense. Probably the most notable thing is just the, the income increase that we've had. Everyone's super fun, it's super motivating. Uh, I've been here before, but I'm back again because it motivates me. Your competition's going to come eventually or try to pick up these tactics. So you better, you, if you don't, somebody else will. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top K9. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house. Right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See? It's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing. And this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. So we really just want to thank you, Clay, and thank you, Vanessa, for everything you've done, everything you've helped us with. We love you guys. If you decide to not attend the Thrive Time Workshop, you're missing out on a great opportunity. The Atmosphere Plays office is very lively. You can feel the energy as soon as you walk through the door. And it really got me and my team very excited. If you decide not to come, you're missing out on an opportunity to grow your business. Bottom line. Love the environment. I love the way that Clay presents and teaches. It's a way that not only allows me to comprehend what's going on, but he explains it in a way to where it just makes sense. The SEO optimization, branding, marketing, I've learned more in the last two days than I have the entire four years of college. The most valuable thing that I've learned, marketing is key. Uh, marketing is everything. Making sure that you're branded accurately and clearly. How to grow a business using Google reviews and then just how to optimize our name through our website also. Helpful with uh, a lot of marketing, search engine optimization, um, uh, helping us really rank high in Google. The biggest thing I needed to learn was how to build my foundation, how to systemize everything and optimize everything, build my SEO. How to become more organized. Uh, more efficient. How to make sure the business is really there to serve me as opposed to me constantly being there for the business. Uh, new ways of advertising my business as well as recruiting new employees. Group interviews, number one. Uh, before we felt like we were held hostage by our employees. Group interviews has completely eliminated that because you're able to really find the people that would really be the best fit. Hands on how to hire people, how to deal with human resources, uh, a lot about marketing and overall just how to structure the business, how it works for me and also then how that can translate into working better for my clients. 
valuable thing I've learned here is time management. I like the one hour of doing your business is real critical if I'm going to grow and change. Play really teaches you how to navigate through those things and not only find freedom, but find your purpose in your business and find the purposes for all those other people that directly affect your business as well. Everybody. 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 Everyone. Everyone needs to attend the conference because you get an opportunity to see that it's real. Go back eight years ago. Think about the, the number of clients you had back then versus the number of clients you have now. As a percentage, what has been the growth over the past eight years, do you think? We've got to well, inspire somebody out there who just well, doesn't have the time to listen to okay, their calls. Okay, so, Clay, it's, it's, it's like I would go up and down from uh, about $10,000 a month up to about 40000 but it was up and down roller coaster. And so now we've, we've got it to where we're in excess of 100 clients. That's awesome. And so I would have anywhere from five clients to 20 clients on my own with networking, but I had no control over it. I, I, I didn't, without the systems, you're going to be at the, you're going to be victimized by your own business. For the, somebody out there who struggles with math, if you, let's say that your average number of clients was 30 and you go to 100, as a percentage, what is that? I, I have grown, I have doubled every year since working with you. So I've doubled in clients, I've doubled in revenue every year. It's a hundred percent growth every year I've worked with. Now so so I'm looking we've been good friends seven, eight years and I've got doubled five times. Which is just incredible. I mean the first time you do it, that's one thing, but when you do it repeatedly, yeah. I mean that's we're unbelievable. Work, we're working our blessed assurance off this year to double. We're planning on doubling again. We're incorporating new some 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 new things in there to really help us do it but we are going to double again this year i started coaching but it would go up and down clay that's when i came to you as i was going up and down and i wanted to go up and up instead of up and down and so that's when it needed a system so creating a system is you have nailed down specific steps that you're going to take no matter how you feel, no matter the results, you lean into them and you do them regardless of what's happening. You lean into them and it will give you X number of leads. You follow up with those leads, turns into sales. Well, I tell you, you know, it, it's if you don't have a script and you don't have a system, then every day is a whole new creation. You're creating a, a lot of energy just to figure out what are you going to do. Right. And the best executives, Peter Drucker is a father of modern management. He said, the most effective executives make one decision a year. What you do is you make a decision, what is your system, and then you work like the Dickens to make sure you follow that system. And so that, that, that's really what it's all about. So with a script here, I, you know, I, we have a brand new gal that just came, came in working for us. She nailed down the script, and yep. she's been nailing down appointments. Usually, we try to get one appointment for every 100 calls. We make two to 300 calls a day per rep. Right. And she's been nailing down five and eight appointments a day. Somebody out there is having a hard time. script. What's, so she's making how many calls a day? She's making between two and 300 calls a day. Whoa. And our relationship is weird in that we, we do, um, if someone were to buy an Apple computer today, yeah. And uh, or, or let's say you bought a personal computer, a PC. The computer is made by, let's say, Dell. But then the software in the computer um, would be Microsoft, let's say, or Adobe or whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, make, I basically make the systems, and uh, you're, you're like the computer and I'm like the software. It's kind of how I would describe our relationship. Yeah. Tim, uh, I want to ask you this. You and I reconnected, um, and, uh, I think it was in the year 2000 and, uh, what was it, maybe 2010? Is that right? 2011, maybe? Or maybe, maybe further down the road. Maybe 2013? 2012. Okay, so 2012. And uh, at that time, I had I was five years removed from the, D, from the DJ business. And you were how many years removed from tax and accounting software? Uh, it was about 10, 11 years. We met. Um, how did we re-meet? What was the first interaction? There was some interaction where you and I first connected. I just remember that somehow... You and I went to Hideaway Pizza. But do you remember when we first reconnected? Yeah. Uh, well, we had that speaking thing that... Uh, oh, there it was. So yeah. it was Victory Christian Center. I was yeah. speaking there.
My name is Robert Redmond. I uh, actually first met Clay almost three years ago to the day. I don't know if he remembers it or not, but I wasn't working with him at the time. I asked to see him and just ask him some questions to help you know, direct my life, to get some mentorship. Uh, but I've been working with Clay for now just over a year. Uh, the role I play here is a business coach, uh, business consultant. I work with different businesses, implementing uh, best practice processes and systems that I have uh, learned here uh, by working with Clay. And the experience working here has, to put it real plainly, has been just life changing. Um, I have not only learned new things and uh, have gained new knowledge, uh, but, but I have gained a whole new mindset um, that I believe wherever I end up uh, will serve me well throughout the rest of my life. Since working with Clay, uh, I have learned so much. I mean, I would like to say almost everything about, about business in terms of the different categories. I haven't learned it all, uh, but I've learned all about marketing. I've learned about advertising. I've learned about branding. I've learned how to create a sales process for organizations in any industry. I've learned how to sell. Uh, I've learned how to create repeatable systems and processes and uh, hold people accountable. Um, you know, how to hire people. It is, it's almost like every aspect of a business you can learn. I have learned um, a lot in, in those different categories. Uh, and then, again, the, the mindset that I've gained here um, has been huge. You know, uh, working here, uh, you, can't, you, you can't be a mediocre person. Um, you are uh, a call to a higher standard of, of excellence. And then as you're called to that standard here, you begin to see those outcomes in every area of your life, uh, that standard of excellence that, that you want to implement um, no matter what you're involved in. Uh, I would like to describe the other uh, people that, that work with Clay uh, are people that are going somewhere with their life. Uh, Marshall in, in the group interview uh, talks about how uh, you know, the, the best fits for this organization are, are the people that, that are goal-oriented. So they're on their own trajectory, and we're on our own trajectory. And uh, the, the best fits are those people where there can be a, a mutually beneficial relationship, that as we pursue our goals uh, and we help the business pursue those goals, the uh, business helps us pursue our goals as well. Uh, and so I'd say people that are driven, people that want to make something of their lives, uh, people that are uh, goal-oriented, they're focused, uh, uh, and uh, they're committed to c overcoming any adversity that may uh, come their way. Clay's passion for helping business uh, owners grow their businesses is it, it's, it's unique in that I don't know if there's anyone else's that can be as passionate. Um, you know, whenever a business starts uh, uh, working with Clay, uh, it's almost as like Clay is, is running that business in the sense that he has something at stake. Um, you know, he's just serving them. Uh, they're, they're, they're one of his clients, but it's, it's as if he is actively involved in the business. Whenever they have a win, he's posting it all over his social media. He's shouting it across uh, the, the room here, here at Thrive. Um, you know, he's uh, sending people encouraging messages. He can kind of be that, that life coach and, and, and business coach in terms of being that uh, a motivator and that champion for uh, people's businesses. It's, 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 again, unique because there's no one else I've seen uh, get so excited about and passionate about other people's businesses. The kind of people that wouldn't like working with Clay are people that are satisfied with, with mediocrity. Uh, people that uh, want to get th through life by just doing enough, by just getting by. Uh, people who are not looking to develop themselves, people who are not coachable, people who think that they know it all and they're unwilling to change. Um, I would say those are the type of people. In, in short, anyone that's content with mediocrity uh, would not like working with Clay. So if, if um, you're meeting Clay for the first time, the advice I'd give you is uh, definitely come ready to take tons of notes. Uh, every time Clay speaks, he uh, um, gives you a wealth of knowledge uh, that you don't want to miss. I remember the first time that I met Clay, I literally carried a notebook with me all around. I was looking at this notebook the other day, actually. I carried a notebook with me uh, all around, and I just took tons of notes. I filled the entire notebook 
in uh, about, about three or four months, uh, just from being around Clay, following him, and, and, and learning from him. And then I would say, come, come coachable. Uh, uh, be, be open to uh, learning something new. Be open to challenging yourself. Uh, be open to um, learning and, and adjusting parts about you that, that uh, need to be adjusted. JT, do you know what time it is? Um, 410. It's <laughs> it's Tebow time in Tulsa, oh. Jerusalem, baby. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Whoa. During the month of Christmas, December 5th and 6th, 2024, Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma in the two-day interactive Thrive Time Show that Business Growth good. Workshop. Uh, yes, folks, thing. put it in your calendar this Wanna December, ride. the month of Christmas, Wanna December 5th and 6th. Okay. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma in the Thrive uh, Time Show okay two-day interactive business growth workshop. Whoa. We've been doing business conferences here uh, since 2005. I've been hosting business conferences since, since 2005. What year were you born? Uh, 1995. Dude, I've been hosting business conferences since you were 10 years old. And a lot of people, you know, have followed Tim Tebow's football career on the field uh, and off the field. And off the field, the guy's been just as successful as he has been on the field. Now, the big question is, JT, how does he do it? Hmm. Well, they're going to have to come and find out because I don't know. Well, I'm just so. saying, Tip Tebow is going to teach us how he organizes his day, how he organizes his life, how he's proactive with his faith, his family, his finances. He's going to walk us through his mindset that he brings into the gym, into business. It is going to be a blasty blast in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Folks, I'm telling you, if you want to learn branding, you want to learn marketing, you want to learn search engine optimization, you want to learn social media marketing, that's what we teach at the Thrive Time Show two-day interactive workshop. If you want to learn accounting, you want to learn sales systems, you want to learn how to build a linear workflow, you want to learn how to franchise your business, that is what we teach at the two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop. You know, over the years, we've had the opportunity to feature Michael Levine, the, the PR consultant of choice for Nike, for, for Prince, for Michael Jackson. Jackson. We've had the top PR consultant in the history of the planet has spoken at the Thrive Time Show workshops. We've had Jill Donovan, the founder of RusticCuff.com, a company that creates apparel worn by celebrities all throughout the world. Jill Donovan, the founder of RusticCuff.com, has spoken at the two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshops. We have the guy, we've had the man who's responsible for turning around Harley Davidson, a man by the name of Ken Schmidt. He has spoken at the Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops. Folks, I'm telling you, these events are going to teach you what you need to know to start and grow a successful business. And the way we price the events, the way we, we do these events, is you can pay $250 for a ticket or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes! We've designed these events to be affordable for you, and we want to see you live and in person at the two-day interactive December 5th and 6th Thrive Time Show business workshop everything that you need to succeed will be taught at the two-day interactive thrive time show business workshop december 5th and 6th in tulsa oklahoma and the way we do these events is we teach for 30 minutes and then we open it up for a question and answer session so that wonderful people like you can have your questions answered. Yes, we teach for 30 minutes and then we open it up for a 15 minute question and answer session. It's interactive, it's two days, it's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've been doing these events since 2005 and I'm telling you folks, it's gonna blow your mind. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshop is America's highest rated and most reviewed business workshop. See the thousands of video testimonials from real people just like you who've been able to build multi-million dollar companies. Watch those testimonials today at thrivetimeshow.com simply by clicking on the testimonials button right there at thrivetimeshow.com. You're going to see thousands of people just like you who've been able to go from just surviving to thriving. Whoa. Each and every day, we're going to add more and more speakers to this all-star lineup. But I encourage everybody out there today, get those tickets today. Go to thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. And some people might be saying, well, how do I do it? What do I do? How does it work? You just go to thrivetimeshow.com. Let's go there now. We're feeling the flow. We're going to thrivetimeshow.com. Again, you just go to thrivetimeshow.com. You click on the business conferences button and you click on the request tickets button right there. Uh, the way I do our conferences is we tell people it's $250 to get a ticket. Yep. Or whatever price that you can afford. And the reason why I do that is I grew up without money. Uh, JT, you're in the process of building a super successful company. Um, yep. Did you start out with a million dollars in the bank account? 
No, I did not. Nope, did not get any loans, nothing like that. Did not get an inheritance from parents or anything like that. I had to work for it, and I uh, am super grateful I came to a business conference. That's actually how I met you, met Peter Taunton. I met all these people. So if you're out there today and you want to come to our workshop, again, you just got to go to thrivetimeshow.com. You might say, well, who's speaking? We already covered that. You might say, where's it going to be? It's going to be in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma. And someone says, Tulsa, Jerusalem. Uh, it's... I'm really trying to rebrand Tulsa as Tulsa Jerusalem, sort of like the Jerusalem of America. But if you go to, if you type in Thrive Time Show and Jinx, you can get a sneak peek or a look at our office facility. This is what it looks like. This is where you're headed. It's going to be a blasty blast. You can look inside, see the facility. We're going to have hundreds of entrepreneurs here. It is going to be packed. Now, for this particular event, folks, uh, the seating is always limited because my facility isn't a limitless um convention center you're coming to my actual home office and so it's going to be packed who you you're going to come who you I, I, i'm talking to you you can just get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com and again you can name your price we tell people it's 250 dollars or whatever price you can afford and we do have some select vip tickets which gives you an access to meet some of the speakers and those sorts of things and those tickets are 500 dollars. it's a two-day interactive business workshop over 20 hours of business training we're going to give you a copy of my newest book the Millionaire's Guide to Becoming Sustainably Rich. You're going to leave with a workbook. You're going to leave with everything you need to know to start and grow a super successful company. It's practical, it's actionable, and it's Tebow time right here in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Get those tickets today at thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. Hello, I'm Michael Levine, and I'm talking to you right now from the center of Hollywood, California, where I have represented over the last 35 years 58 Academy Award winners, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestsellers. I've represented a lot of major stars and I've worked with a lot of major companies. And I think I've learned a few things about what makes them work and what makes them not work. Now, why would a man living in Hollywood, California, in the beautiful sunny weather of LA, come to Tulsa? because last year I did it and it was damn exciting. Clay Clark has put together an exceptional uh, presentation, really life-changing. And I'm looking forward to seeing you then. I'm Michael Levine, I'll see you in Tulsa. Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business system that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. When we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same system that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. 
And now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're closed, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And so Mr. Clay Clark, he's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing. But I thought, uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who is my yeah. age, and I can say or cannot say. What, well, I have to, first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, Changed My Life, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba, watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa.